NVIDIA's latest GeForce Now update gives you complete control over your streaming quality. To access these new settings, click the gear button and you'll notice the new streaming quality section on the right. The balanced option finds a good medium between video quality and latency. The data saver option is for people that are on metered connections where you may have some sort of cap that determines how much bandwidth you can use per month. So this is going to try to prioritize that and use very little bandwidth while giving you good video quality. The competitive option is all about lowest latency. So the video quality is going to go down a bit, but the latency is going to be as low as possible. And then the custom option lets you choose all these settings for yourself. Now I want to take a moment and go over this custom section in a little more detail. It's really important and it gives you complete control over your streaming experience. So let's say for example that maybe you only have about 10 megabits per second of reliable download speed. Well you can change all these values to match that. So you'd start with your max bit rate. So you'd want to drop this down to 10 to match your download speed. Now at that level 1080p is a little bit optimistic. It's probably not going to work very well. So you may want to change that as well. So go ahead and drop that down to 720p. And then you may want to do the same thing for the FPS. So that's a little bit much and you may want to drop that down to 30 FPS. These last two sections are optional and you can kind of play with them to see how they affect you. The adjust for poor network conditions is really only important if your speed is not consistent. So let's say that you misestimated and you don't really maintain 10 megabits. Maybe you kind of bounce back and forth between eight and 10 or you know things like that. This will adjust the quality of your games to match that in real time. So that can be really helpful. Now VSync is very cool. And what it basically does is it, is it allows GeForce Now to apply VSync automatically to all your games. So the streamer handles it. This usually works really well, but if it doesn't for some reason, you're welcome to come back and turn that off. And that's basically these settings in a nutshell. You could technically go the other way. So you could put these up to 50. You could try up to 120 FPS if you want. So it supports a wide range of settings and you can kind of play with those. Now, one thing that I want to bring your attention to is that they give you a really handy metric up here. It shows you how much your settings will use per hour in terms of bandwidth. And this can be really helpful if you have a cap on the amount of bandwidth you can use every month. So 20 gigabytes per hour is extreme. That's a lot. So you'd really want to have an unlimited connection to use that. Now, if we drop things back down to our 720p settings, you'll see a big difference. So we drop that back down, drop that back down. And you'll notice that now it only uses two gigabytes per hour. So if you have a cap on how much bandwidth you can use every month, you know, especially if you're on a hotspot or something like that, then you can actually change these settings to match the amount of bandwidth that you have available. So that's another way to use these. And that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And until next time, my name is Josh, and you guys have a good one.